on October 15, 1608, was born the Italian physicist whose name later became worldwide. He is Evangelista Torricelli who was born in Faenza and later studied at the Sapienza College Rome. Evangelista Torricelli is the child of Gaspar Torricelli and Caterina Angetti. The eldest of three children of a married couple, they live in poverty because Gaspar is only a textile factory worker. His two younger brothers later worked in clothing-related fields. Seeing Torricelli's outstanding talent and lack of ability to provide education, his parents sent this eldest child to his uncle, Jacopo, a priest. Torricelli entered the Jesuit school in 1624 and studied mathematics and philosophy for two years, it is not clear where Torricelli studied. When Torricelli was still studying at this school, his father died. His mother and his two younger siblings moved to Rome and it was discovered that Torricelli would then live with them. After that his mother died in Rome in 1641. Torricelli was an Italian physicist, inventor of the mercury barometer, discoverer of Torricelli's law, invented the world's first small vacuum tube, mathematician, author, professor secretary, assistant, and pupil of Galileo. He died in Florence on October 25, 1647 at the age of 39 years. Evangelista Torricelli when at the age of 22 he studied in Rome under Benedetto Castelli, the founder of hydraulics, a mathematician student of Galileo Galilei. E. Torricelli was Galileo's secretary for three months until Galileo's death in 1641. The story of Torricelli's meeting with Galileo is like the meeting between an admirer and a character he admires. At the age of 30 he read a book by Galileo and was amazed. He wrote to Galileo in 1632, but was only invited by Galileo nine years later, after Galileo was impressed by Torricelli's writings on motion. At that time Galileo was old and blind. Torricelli was accepted as his secretary and three months later Galileo died. Torricelli was appointed as Galileo's successor as a mathematician at the Istana Grand Duke Ferdinand II and as a professor of mathematics and the intersection of the two great scientists, in Florence a statue of Torricelli and Galileo was made. In 1643 Torricelli made an experiment which became known as the Torricelli experiment. This experiment he did based on the suggestions Galileo received before his death. For his experiments he used a small tube one meter long and mercury. He filled the tube with mercury to the brim and closed the hole with his finger. He turned the tube over and dipped the end into a vessel filled with mercury as well. Then he removed the tube cover finger from the tube. The mercury in the tube descends and creates a vacuum. This vacuum became known as the Torricelli vacuum. He measured the height of the mercury in the vessel. His height turned out to be 76 centimeters. For several days Torricelli observed that the level of mercury in the tube was always changing. Finally he knew that it was caused by air pressure. The mercury pressure of 76 centimeters is then called the pressure of one atmosphere. Most of Torricelli's discoveries were in the field of physics, especially regarding the barometer. Torricelli also put forward theories about acceleration and gravity, fluid and projective motion. Once Fermat once posed a problem to Torricelli to determine a point in the plane whose sum of distances to a point of one triangle is minimum. Torricelli's problem solving was then published by one of his students. Viviani, in 1659. That point is known today as the center of the isogon of the triangle. The beautiful solution of the problem was then given by Jacob Steiner. In 1640 found the length of the arc of the logarithmic spiral curve. 